Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are just gonna do a quick arm and lip swatch video of the previously released Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that are returning during her new launch on Saturday, October 3rd. And right now on my lips, I have a mix of Velvet Muse and Velvet Fawn. So you can see that they do blend well together. And I actually have it topped with the Tom Ford. This is the Balm Frost lip balm that just came out. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with the reds that were part of the original launch. And this one here is Velvet Ribbon. And if you're unfamiliar with her lipsticks, just take a look at these tubes. I mean, do you see how they actually look like velvet? So I have to say, you've got this brushed gold outer tube, and then it's a magnetic cap, brighter gold in here. They're smooth, they're beautiful, I love them. Next up, we have Velvet Jazz. And I apologize for the background noise. I'm not sure what's going on. We've got construction going on in the neighborhood. This is Velvet Morning. And this one's gonna be an orangey or red. Next up, Velvet Muse. So again, this here is Velvet Myth. And then this is Velvet Beauty. And I apologize, but my, my bullet's broken. So I'm trying to be super careful with that one. So Muse Myth Beauty. Here we have Fawn. Decade. This is sort of a rich chocolate brown. And then this one here is Midnight, which you can see is gonna be a really deep eggplant purple, but it does have reddish undertones. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, one of the things to note is that she really puts a lot of different shades in her undertones to give them all of these subtle nuances so that they work well for a larger variety of skin tones. Now, I also have three of the pink lipsticks. I don't believe these are coming back, so we'll just do arm swatches for these. This one is Rainbow Spill. Let's see how bright that is. And although these pinks look super bright, they are very flattering on the skin. This one is Love of My Life, and this one is a satin finish. So this is not one of the velvet mattes. And then we have Skyscraper Rose. This one is one of the velvet mattes. The only one that is not is Love of My Life. And surprisingly, this shade is gorgeous on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip swatches and I will show you everything. First up, we have Velvet Ribbon. I apologize, the application's not perfect. Next up, we have Velvet Jazz. Velvet Morning. This is Velvet Muse. And I think I misspoke before. This is not the one I had mixed with Fawn. I had Myth mixed with Fawn. Velvet Myth. This is Velvet Beauty. Velvet Fawn. Velvet Decade. Velvet Midnight. I decided to just go ahead and test out the other three as well. This one is Rainbow Spill. Skyscraper Rose. And this last one here is Love of My Life, which is a sheer application. And it's very, very creamy, more lip balm feeling and texture. My lips are a little irritated, so it's actually a little bit softer and pink. I put on a couple layers just to really see the color. 
<clears throat> Just a note for those of you who are unfamiliar with Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, the lip swatches that I did were all one coat of lipstick. They are opaque and they have a very creamy texture. They're not moisturizing, but they're not drying either. For me, they leave my lips in exactly the same condition. And I believe she was the first or one of the first to have this sort of velvety matte formula. And I think it looks gorgeous on the lips. It's super sophisticated looking. And now we've got other brands who are coming out with, you know, velvety matte lipsticks. For example, we've got the Givenchy ones. I have a comparison video of the Givenchy and the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks if you are interested in that. So I'll link that here. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see more videos like this or like that. And one more time, let's just go through these swatches. So again, they're all very opaque. From the top, these are three of the classic reds and you can purchase from her site lipstick sets, which are three lipsticks in a beautiful velvet case. So we have Velvet Ribbon, Velvet Jazz, which is more of a burgundy red, and Velvet Morning, which is more of an orangey red. And you can see Ribbon is gonna be a classic cool toned red. Then, following that, these are new colors from last year. We have Velvet Muse, Velvet Myth, which is what I had on my lips mixed with Velvet Fawn, and then Velvet Beauty is this soft, dusky pink. Velvet Fawn is sort of like a caramel brown, and it's kind of like a nutmeg shade. Then we have Velvet Decade, which is a chocolate brown and Velvet Midnight, which is a really deep purple. Then these three pinks, I don't think are coming back, but I don't recall off the top of my head. So we have Rainbow Spill, which is going to be a bright warm pink. Then this one here is the sheer one on my lips now, Love of My Life. And then we have the last one, Skyscraper Rose, which is a bright cool tone pink. So I have all of her lipsticks except for Go Lightly, which I keep trying to get, but I have missed every single time it has been there. I think it's only been there the original launch and I missed it. I hope these swatches were helpful. Lisa Eldridge is putting up a video a couple of hours before the launch on Saturday with all of the new shades. I'm not sure if she's revisiting the previous shades or not, but make sure you check that out. She'll have it up before her launch so you have time to kind of go through that and make some decisions on the new items. As for the new items, she is introducing lip pencils. I believe those are only going to be included in the lip kits, which include a lip pencil, lip gloss, and lipstick. And there are set color combinations. Unfortunately, I have all of those except for the one new shade, blush, which, you know, I was really hoping to pick up some of the lip pencils for these other lipsticks, but oh well. <laughs> and then they come in this beautiful floral velvet case. You can also purchase lipstick sets, which are three lipsticks in a set. And I believe she's gonna be doing a create your own set as well. And you may be able to mix lipsticks and glosses and one of the velvet bags, which she does have different colors in there. And then there are also six new lip glosses, which are supposed to be very moisturizing. So we will see how launch day goes, but if you are interested, I would definitely not wait because typically her launches sell out pretty quickly. I think the first one was like five minutes and everything was gone. Last year, things were much better and it was, I can't remember, I think there were still some things that were still available after the first day. And then she did do a partial restock of certain things a little bit after that. But with production due to COVID and everything, I'm not sure if that's something that's gonna be possible this year. So if you're interested in something, I would decide early and make sure you get it, you know, at the time of the launch. So her launch is 4 p.m. UK time which is 11 a.m. Eastern time, I believe. I have to double check that, but I believe it's 11 a.m. Eastern time and you can order from the Lisa Eldridge website. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on any of these shades, please let me know and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.